viewers, my name is Kara. I almost forgot to make this video today. I just came home and was about to upload some other stuff and then thought, upload. It's Tuesday! I'm your Tuesday host here on The Pagan Perspective, and this week we are talking about our preference between tarot and oracle decks. The question this week is from Lal Haro, who just asked, which do we use most often or which do we prefer, tarot or oracle decks? And I put in a possible variation to the question that just in case anyone on the collab doesn't use either tarot or oracle cards um, to talk about what their most used or preferred form of divination is if they use divination. So between tarot and oracle, I most often use and tend to prefer oracle decks because that's what I started out with. I started with an oracle deck called the Fairy Ring, and that's what I read for years. And I only recently, within the past two years or so, really started trying to learn tarot. And for me, you know, over the several years since I got my first oracle deck, tarot just always kind of had this blockage for me. And I've talked about this on my personal channel before. Um, and in some other little mini videos where I've mentioned tarot, that there was always just kind of this mental block for me of wanting to know what each of the cards meant in itself. And it wasn't until a couple years ago when I finally read some little book that started describing it as know what the suit symbolizes and know what the numbers symbolize and then just combine them for what it is that I started kind of getting tarot a little bit more. And at the very end of last calendar year, I did some readings to benefit the Pentacles of Pride fundraiser, and I offered to use either my oracle deck that I've been reading for years, or my Celtic tarot that I had never read before. And a few of you took me up on that offer and asked for the Celtic tarot. And I've been talking with Sheldon, the president of Pentacles of Pride, a little bit about my readings and things like that, and I think I'm making some progress in that department of being able to read my tarot cards and use my intuition for that and not feel that same mental block that I had for all those years. So I do still generally prefer my oracle deck, um, and that just tends to be because I, I like the forms that oracle decks can take. I like that they can be very different depending on what they are, whereas Tarot, you can pretty much get any tarot deck, and while the artistry and some of the exact symbolism and the characters that you'll find will differ slightly depending on the theme, there's always that basic structure of tarot, whereas oracle decks can be kind of whatever they want, depending on what the author has done. And the fairy ring I really like because it's all characters from fairy tales and folklore of a Celtic nature, so it allows me to do quite a bit of storytelling with it as well. Now just to draw in the other question that I offered, just in case people don't use cards, um, my favorite form of divination, other than cards, is probably my pendulum, which is very simplified with just yes, no, maybe, that kind of thing. I don't do a lot of dowsing with it or anything like that. Um, my mom and I do sometimes use pendulum boards, which I did video about forever ago, and my mom still makes them, and uh, I don't use mine nearly that much because when I was younger I used to do a lot more with my pendulum and not as much with my cards, and then as I've gotten older and I've started learning more with the cards, the pendulum has kind of fallen by the wayside, which I'm sad about because I have a really nice pendulum now that I got from the Ohio Renaissance Festival last summer, which I don't think I ever showed you guys uh, unless I showed it briefly in my vlog from that weekend. But yeah, so I think those would probably be my main two favorite types. I did also start learning a bit about the runes um, a couple summers ago when I worked at the medieval fair with a gentleman um, and I was selling the runes that he made, so I learned quite a bit about them and what my favorite rune is, and I have a rune pendant that he made that is of my favorite rune, etc. Which is Yera, for those of you who are like, what is it? It's Yera. And I've always really liked the idea of casting stones, which Annie, Mirth and Reverence, talked about in the past on her channel or on Pagan Perspective when she was on this channel. I don't really remember. I've always loved that idea too and I'd like to learn that eventually as well. So that's it! Kind of a quick video for the week. I am going to be posting something else on my channel, falling over, soon, like probably today, tomorrow. 
I have a lot of stuff I want to get posted. And I just came from work and I'm on my way out the door to rehearsal shortly after I get this posted. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. And until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye. Tell us in the comments about your favorite forms of divination and if you have a preference between tarot and oracle decks if you use cards.